Hi, this is Nerdy Dixon Account. Please check out Sparkman's Studios. He told me to do this review and go check him out. This is Tick Issue 1, the 2017 run of The Tick. The Tick is a multiple series. Luckily, they are all in continuity with each other. So the first series is the setting point, and then the next series, whatever happened in the first one, is still relevant in the second series. You can see this even on this cover. If you see here, on the moon, the CHA, that is from the first series. When Chairface Trippendale tried to carve his name into the moon. This book has two stories in it. The main one, which we see here, the ninjas and the clowns. And this cover is actually the art cell of the main story. The secondary story, it has a different art style. The art style is okay for me. Yeah, I can tell who everyone is, and I don't have a problem. It's just different from the original run and most of the artwork for the Tick series overall. But that's a small nitpick. Even the secondary story in here is slightly different from the original art style, but closer to it. You'll see what I mean when I get when we get into it. Now let us begin. We start off with them in the Canadian Rockies and they're on the beginning of a journey that started a few days ago when they stopped ninjas at a dock. But it was not only ninjas, it was also killer clowns. Apparently they are mortal enemies but they're working together to defeat the tick. Who is, of course, impervious to pretty much everything. He's super powerful and all that, if you didn't know. The bosses want them to defeat the chick, and there's a small fight between the clowns and the ninjas on who will defeat the tick by dropping the crate. Filled with unknown powdered substance. When they do, we have to page spread of montage of the tick's beginning and parts of his life I didn't know about. Like he was apparently married. Trust me, this isn't even the weirdest thing that I've seen with the tick. There's even more psychedelic things when he ate the ham in Big Blue Destiny issue one. If you're confused by that, trust me. It is weird, but really, really fun, he as well. And so, he then starts speaking in French. I just love this part of it. Like, the translator here is doing his normal job, translating. But here, it's just like, quit it. It's like, the translator broke the fourth wall and telling Tick, just stop speaking French. But it continues with more and more quips and jokes about the whole thing. He, the Tick has nightmares and he wakes up and he can't find Arthur. The other went to talk to a few other heroes. And this is when we get references to earlier works like with here. This is running guy. Like with this statement here. The Red Scare was supposed to be my nemesis. This is in reference to the original run of the tick, issue number six, which I own. Even if you didn't own that issue or even read it, you could have seen it in the TV show, the cartoon TV show, or just take it as a joke that you could learn later on. That's what I recommend about this most. This comic is 
really good for those who already know the tech, but can also be really good for fans who have not read the tech, and this is a good starting point as well. So more hijinks ensue. The tech get cheap music, uses Arthur's credit card to get a piano, and then they decide to go to Kenny and Rocky's where the adventure will soon continue. They are trying to discover the tick's origin. And that's the end of the, of the main story. The next one is a very small one where they're just chasing a random ninja. I like the art show and this one a little bit better because it is closer to the original. It's where you can see the ninja's eyes. You should never be able to see their eyes. And then, you know, he's threatening. The ninja says, oh, this box is a bomb. Then he's like, no, it can't be that. And then it's like, it's the thorn of oblivion. And see another reference to the original run. And they say, there's no way. It's like, come on, it could be. There's not enough duct tape in the world to make that happen. This is a good joke, where they reference older material, but that older material isn't completely necessary to understand the joke. I have not read the issue where the Thorn of Oblivion is in, but I can already tell it's supposed to be something, a weapon of power, and it's already destroyed. And we later find out that it's just it's just the ninja's lunchbox. <laughs> so the tick steals the lunchbox, takes his lunch. Still weird. So they then eat circus peanuts, and they both hate it. Now here's the best part: there are no advertising in the pages with the stories. All the advertising is at the end, and it's all tech-related. And you can see here, this is the older style of artwork. And it also gives you two pages of what the thinking for the trading cards and more shirts. And that's the end. And on the back, the complete collections of all their work, all the runs. This is a good comic. I highly recommend it. Even if you don't know what they're referencing in the book, it won't mess up the jokes. If you do know the references, then that would be even better. Because you are able to have that knowledge. This is a really good first issue, and I'm going to be getting... The second issue when it comes out. I'm actually going to probably get the whole series. This one. I would also like to thank. Sporkman Studios. For encouraging me to do the video. And. Hope everyone has a good day. If you like the video. Please click the like button. Please leave a comment down below if I can make improvements. And if you want to subscribe, that would be great. Thank you. Oh, also, please share the video. Thank you.